Hey, what's up guys? Back here for another What I Watch. I've got quite a bit of stuff here to show you. Starting with the first thing I want to show you. Before I do, I want to say a big thanks to uh, my friend Nick Glavin. He let me borrow this series. And that is the Saw series. Really enjoyed these movies. A lot of gore in these movies. If you guys seen them, you guys pretty much know. But if you haven't, you guys gotta check them out. It's pretty much about uh, Jigsaw. He pretty much puts people like in these traps. And they pretty much got to get, get out of there at a certain amount of time. If they don't, then you could pretty much guess what happens. So we got Saw 1. I, I really like these, these cases. We got Saw 2. Saw 3. I really like Saw 3. I thought Saw 3 was awesome. All of them were awesome anyway. We got Saw 4. Saw five. I wish I I would have seen these when they when they were coming out. Cause now I'm kicking myself. These movies are awesome and, and they're brutal too. So if you guys are not a fan of gore, then I don't recommend you guys watching these. We got Saw Seven. This one does have a slipcover to it. And then we got the last one, uh, Jigsaw. And before this video goes any further, I just want to, um, this video is coming out on Sunday. So it's MarkBoy 316's birthday. So I want to say happy birthday to MarkBoy 316. So the next one we got here is uh, Three Stooges. This comes with uh, four episodes. The one where they're in the, the courtroom, I really like that one. They're like, they're pretty much trying to uh, tell the judge kind of what happened. So they're kind of like doing like a story thing. Like reacting to that and stuff, and it's pretty funny. Then we got one on here where one of the Stooges has to pretty much get married. Because if he's not married by a certain amount of time, then he 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 won't get this money because I think his uncle died or something like that. So you got episodes on here from 1936, we got 1947, 1949, 1947. I think I got this from Bedman 03, if I'm not mistaken. This is a really good movie. This is the first time I ever watched this one. I know the remake's out there, but I haven't seen the remake. I heard it's good. I heard it's bad. So, we got Poultry Geist. When I actually went to go buy this at Walmart, I had the DVD in my hand. And I was looking and I was like, oh man, they got the Blu-ray there. So, I'll get the Blu-ray. It's got a cool, uh, cool cover onto it. And you pretty much take it off there and it pretty shows the original uh, artwork. But if you haven't seen this movie, it's pretty much about this little girl right here. She pretty much gets sucks into TV. So, uh, all kinds of stuff happens in the house. There's like chairs going across the floor and stuff. And it's really good. And I, well, I, I wish I would have seen it sooner. But yeah, really good movie. Then we got another good one that I have to watch pretty much every October. And that is The Exorcist. Don't really need to explain this movie too much because a lot of you guys have seen it. So, it comes in this lovely snapper case. I do like the second one. I do enjoy it, but it's not as good as this one. And this is a movie I've seen a long time ago, but I couldn't quite remember it. And I rewatched it again. And that has 16 candles. It's pretty much about her character right here. Um, her parents pretty much forget about her 16th birthday. And there's all kinds of funny stuff in this movie. And if you guys seen it, you guys know. But I really enjoyed this movie. I would watch this one again. Then we got See No Evil 2 with Kane. This pretty much carries from the, the first one. Starting the beginning of the movie, he pretty much has him going to kill a bunch of people. So when, when they shoot him, they think he's dead. But then when he gets to the, the building, he's not. And then... People start dying one by one and everything. And it's really good. I really enjoyed this one. I'll be watching this one again at some point. It's only 90 minutes too, so. This one was really good. Um, this is the Universal Monsters Collection. There's actually two movies missing out of here. But I have the Fan of the Opera. And the Creature of the Black Lagoon is not on this one. So. You pretty much get Frankenstein, Wolfman. The Bride of Frankenstein, Dracula, The Mummy, and The Visible Man. And you pretty much open it up their stack desk. Not really a fan of that, but. 
This next movie, I actually did a video a while back. Um, it was top five movies that I like and everyone hates, and this is one of the ones that's in, on this list. And it's Grown Ups. I really enjoyed this movie. I haven't watched it in a long time. I couldn't quite remember it too much, but it's pretty much about the basketball coach of these guys. He pretty much dies. So they have to, they pretty much go to the funeral and stuff, and they pretty much just want to go together, get together, because they have to go spread his ashes. And all the funny things that happen in this, especially with Kevin James when he's in the pool. He pees into it, and then the friggin' uh, water starts turning blue. But yeah, it, it's a fun film, and I do like the second one. I know a lot of people don't like those movies, but I do. Then we got uh, Family Guy. This was banned off TV. It's pretty much about uh, Lois's friend. She, want, she wants to come see her or whatever, and Peter has in his head that they're going to have a threesome. And what it is is um, her and her, her husband, Dale, can't have uh, a baby, so they pretty much want her to carry it. Well, while, while they're doing that, um, um, they pretty much get in a car accident and die. So Peter and Lois are trying to figure out what they're going to do with the baby, so you have to watch to, to find out. But yeah, it was pretty good. It only runs uh, 23 minutes. And the last one I got to show you guys is Bride Wars. This was really good. I watched this when it first came out back in 2009. And I, haven't, I couldn't quite remember it too much, but I just watched it. And it's pretty much about these two people. When, when they were younger, their dream was to get married in the, the Plaza Hotel. So um, when they go there, it's like... They have one day and the other one has the other day, but then someone came in and got one of their days, so they have to pretty much get uh, married on the same day. So there's one part where the girl turns her hair blue, and then the other girl will send her like all kinds of chocolates and sweets, so she can't pretty much fit in her dress. And it's a really, really fun movie. I really enjoy it. I like Anne Hathaway and Kate Hudson. But that's everything I have to show in this uh, What I Watch. If you guys like it, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Join the fam nation. Remember, I love seeing you guys take time to watch the videos. I truly, truly do. And we'll check you in the next one. And peace.